This is your three minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, February 6, 2012. In Canada, current radar shows rainfall in Calgary without jet stream involvement. Therefore, Calgary is not at high risk. However, the cities with potential fallout concerns are Quebec, Drummondville, Sherbrooke, Fredrickson, St. John, and Halifax in the provinces of Quebec and New Brunswick over the next 24 to 36 hours. In the U.S., we have a light day in terms of precipitation, with the exception of Alabama and Maine for today, Georgia and South Carolina starting this evening, and the areas of highest risk over the next 48 hours would be southern Florida from Orlando south to the Keys. In Europe, Current jet stream placement and rainfall places the areas between Bristol up through Sheffield in the UK and the northern coast of France at highest risk. Other areas of precipitation would include Austria, Slovakia, Slovenia, Croatia, Hungary, Bosnia, Serbia, Italy, Albania, Romania, Macedonia, and Bulgaria. Although the jet stream does not overlie these areas, due to recent radiation detections in Europe, it would be wise to exercise caution. Of additional concern, a fire occurred in the Nuclear Research Center in downtown Moscow over the weekend. There are nuclear materials on site. Anyone downwind of this area should be extremely cautious and monitor family members for signs of radiation sickness. Seek immediate relocation and treatment if any of the following symptoms occur. Nausea, vomiting, nosebleeds, extreme lethargy, unexplained bruising, skin rashes, or burns. In the U.S., the NRC is currently investigating the emergency shutdown of Byron Nuclear Plant. The results of their report will not be available for 45 days. In San Diego County, the San Onofre plant experienced a radiation leak, the discovery of tube damage, and a worker falling into a reactor pool within days of each other. S. David Freeman, a former general manager of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, who used to oversee nuclear plants, said today in the LA Times, this should remind us that this is a radioactive factory that's sitting there cooking away, and things can go very wrong. It's time we start transitioning to some other form of renewable resource. Please share caring and concern for others, and discuss these current events, as well as the continued threat from the ongoing releases at the Fukushima plant in Japan. This message has been brought to you by Ratchet and the Orion Talk Radio Network. Please visit FukushimaFacts.com for current monitors in the U.S. and Europe. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.